Welcome to Animal Arrays. In this lesson I'm learning to find other ways to solve problems like 5 plus 5 plus 5. Well, you can see down here that I've got an array of smiley faces, and I want to work out how many smiley faces there are in total. Now if I look this way, I can see that they are arranged in groups of three. So I could use repeated addition to work out how many smiley faces there are. I could go three from here, plus this three, plus the three in the next line, plus the last three. So I can use my skip counting, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Now you can see that that is the same as saying 4 groups of 3 equals 12. I got this 4 because I can see 1, 2, 3, 4 groups, and I got this 3 because there are 3 smiley faces in each group. Now I could also answer this uh, question by looking at it in a slightly different way. I could look at it like this. And if I do that, I can see that there's three groups, and in each of those groups there's four smiley faces. So I could write 4 plus 4 plus 4. And just like last time, using my skip counting, I know 4 plus 4 is 8, plus another 4 is 12. And another way that I could write that is there are three groups of four, which equals 12. These are where I got my three groups, one group, two groups, three groups, and there were four smiley faces in each. And just like you'd expect, we got the same answer no matter how we worked it out. Now let's see if we can use what we've just worked out to help us answer this question here. I want to work out what 3 times 5 would equal. So if I go back up a little bit, you can see here we had our 3 groups of 4. So I'm thinking to myself, how does 3 groups of 5 look different from 3 groups of 4? Well, 3 groups of 5 must mean I need one more smiley face in each of these groups. And I can see that 3 groups of 5 is the same as 3 groups of 4 plus 3 groups of 1. This 3 groups of 1 are the smiley faces that I drew in here. Now we've already worked out that 3 groups of 4 is 12, and I know that 3 groups of 1 is 3, so if I add those together, I get 15. So 3 times 5 must be 15. Let's see if we can answer another question. Uh, underneath each of these rectangles, there are 7 smiley faces so I want to work out how many smiley faces there are in total. So I could do 7 plus 7 plus 7, but we've worked out that that is the same as going 3 groups of 7. So now I need to think, how could I work out the answer to that? Well, I'm good at my 2 times tables, so I could do 2 groups of 7, because I know that equals 14. So I'm talking about this group here and this group here. So if I take away those two rectangles, there should be 14 smiley faces. And if you count them up, you can see there's 14 smiley faces there. So I needed to work out three groups of seven, but so far I've done two groups of seven. So I'm going to have to add seven more smiley faces to this amount. Fourteen plus seven equals twenty-one. And if I move that rectangle over, 
you can see I was right. There's 21 smiley faces there. Let's try one last question. Under all of these rectangles are four smiley faces. So you can see I've got four groups of four smiley faces. So now I need to think of a way that I could work out this question. Well, I'm good at my two times tables, so I might start with those first. I know that two groups of four equals eight. So if I take away these two rectangles, there should be eight smiley faces. So we'll remove that one and we'll remove that one. And you can see there's eight smiley faces. Now if there are eight smiley faces over here, that must mean there's eight smiley faces over here, which means I've got two groups of eight. And I know that two groups of eight is 16. And if I remove these two last rectangles, you can see that we were right. There are 16 smiley faces there. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.